And with that, we are all set up for Rhino Rumble. So let's hear it for Winter Bit once again. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Rhino Rumble. This was a Game Boy Color game from the game uh, for the year 2000. Yes, the game 2000. Remember that? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a. Um, it's a Lost Boys Games production. Um, the. Uh, uh, actually, most of the the team from Lost Boys Games went on to make the Killzone franchise. So that's an interesting bit of trivia there. I'm actually going to go ahead and reset the console really quickly so we can get some quick lore in. Oh, and, this uh, lore is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta respect the lore. It's very important. Also, telegames. We'll get to telegames in just a bit. Here we go. Let's let's go ahead and enjoy this cutscene. I want to go to the Rumble Jungle Party. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds lit. Sounds like a blast. Who wouldn't say no to this? Who would say no to that? The party. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy, chilies, chilies. <laughs> Shout out to chilies. It's a good chain. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh, brave soul. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> jeez, uh, jeez, look at this again, again from this angle. Look, that's a that's, very terrifying face. That's a beautiful face. That is. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's the entire plot of the game. Right there in a nutshell. Beautiful. <laughs> the moral of the story is stay hydrated. <laughs> yes. Remind you to stay hydrated, everybody. It's been like 96 hours since the marathon started or something. You should have had about 3 or 4 fluid ounces of water at this point. Come on. <laughs> Indeed. Stay, keep your eye on stay hydrated bot for me. All right, so time does not start until I enter the first level, so I'll go ahead and get things set up. And are we ready to count down, audience? Are you ready to count down, chat? I'm going to assume yeah. that you're exploding right now. <laughs> Possibly. Yes, I am, smile. <laughs> All right. So here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Off we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going, going to go ahead and let Cards of the Heart handle a lot of the commentary. He is the original runner of this game and currently has world record by a fair margin. Yeah, my current time is like a 13, uh, 1239. Nine, I compared to winners of uh, 1349, I believe it is. Thereabouts, I believe you. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, Rhino was trying to get all of the water in this game because he did eat way too many chilies at that party, so... We're going to go through uh, six different worlds. They have three levels each. Not a single boss to be found, but that certainly uh, doesn't stop the platforming from being all that that uh, uninteresting. Makes our job a bit easier. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. One, one thing to keep in mind during this run is that Rhino has a lot of control over his jump. You, not only do you have a lot of control over your jump height, but you can also slow your descent a little bit. Winner, do you know the specifics of that? Um, not very well, because from a casual standpoint, you never even notice it. But if you hold down the A button, either after jumping or during your jump, or at any point while you're in the air, your gravity will go down by something like 10%. And certain gaps will be easier to cross, and jumps will be easier to make. And it actually trivializes a very challenging portion of a couple of levels. So it's very mm -hmm. important to keep it in mind. Generally, with any platforming games, there's always tight jumps that you need to make, so... Exactly. Also, revolutionary design here, going left. Whoa. Oh. You can't just do that. That's fans. <laughs> Let's go left, yeah! 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 Team left, let's go! Let's go team left. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to Directions. I like those. There's 360 of them. <laughs> See, that Directions, not the Grease. Close enough. All right, so right here we're going to hold A as we fall off this platform right there to avoid a uh, spore, I suppose it is. Mm -hmm. Can't really tell on this guy. Come on, get out there. <laughs> this, this game is very finicky when it comes to platform and hit detection. And oh yeah, your rhino can actually breathe fire thanks to eating all those chilies. Indeed. 
that's the exclusive function of the B button in this game. <laughs> you know, something I find I kind of find weird is or ah English. I find kind of weird is that if you eat something spicy and drink water, it actually makes it worse. Yeah, we should be on a search for the land of milk and honey right now. <laughs> Shout out to piggybacking pachyderms. Shout out uh, to the ride of having sunglasses on during this desert level. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wish I was cool as that Rhino, honestly. <laughs> yeah, pay attention to Rhino during the rest of the levels. You might see him decked out in uh, other attire appropriate for each area. Oh, yeah. Got that perfectly right there. That's not the easiest thing to stay on the higher platform that entire time, so that's pretty cool. Also, shout out to this music, just in general. Oh, yeah. It's such a good soundtrack. This music was composed by Yaron Tell, who is a Commodore 64 genius. Oh, just like Tim Fulton, I imagine, right? He was basically the Tim Fulton of the C64, yeah. Nice. And the entire soundtrack uses only three of the Game Boy Color's four sound channels, so jumping and running and other shooting sound effects will not interrupt the music. So shout outs to that for sure. Can we get perfect pillars? Yes, All we can. Right, good pillars. Nice. Those are really tough. Hitboxes in general are really large they in are. this game, and they will pose quite a few problems throughout the run. And right here, oh, yeah. there it is. There we go. That right there is where the uh, holding A really, really comes in handy. Same right there. <laughs> Those gaps are almost impossible. Except for me, first try, because when I was playing that casually, I actually accidentally got that um, first try. All right, one death there is okay. <laughs> Yeah, death is death is quite a bit bit easy to do in this game, be, mostly because hitboxes are yeah. so large. But uh, yeah. fortunately, death isn't too punishing. It's pretty reasonable as long as you don't game over. And even then, you only go back to the start of the level you were in. And these levels go by quick. Like, like this this run has a 16 minute estimate. There are 18 levels. Yeah, they're they're all mostly pretty short. Mostly. Yeah. Exactly. Save for a, a select few <coughs> clouds one. <coughs> we'll get there in a little bit. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm fine, fine, don't worry. Also, shout out to these trampolines. I think this is the only level that uh, features those things. Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, man. Mm. I was trying to get through there. Oh, that's, that's, uh, I, I find myself having a, a heck oh. of a time trying to get around that Ooh. bad. Yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and lose all my lives in the next level on purpose just so I start with full lives for Cave 3, because I do not trust myself. Oh, come on. Uh, you know, that's the strat. If there you're low on lives, just get yeah. a game over, and then you get them back. Exactly. Easy. So we're going to go right instead. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and we click through this. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to right. <laughs> and shout outs to left right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> let's go. Left! Team no, no. left, let's go. <laughs> All right, so this introduces, I believe it introduces minecarts. They're basically yeah. a portable booster seat <laughs> for your Rhino. Just like they sold in the mid-70s oh, in all got, the department stores. Got that spider despawn over there. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. that's It's fairly consistent for me. Also, this is a sub-pixel jump. If I can get this and save a platform cycle. Looks like I'm not saving any uh, time with it, but no. there, oh, there we go. Hey. First try. First try. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Didn't even die. Yeah, get, getting that very first try saves like two or three seconds. It's it does. pretty neat. So we picked up an extra life and immediately lost it to a ghost. Such is life. <laughs> oh, well, that, that life wasn't really all that useful anyway. Right. If we're going fast enough this direction, we can also despawn a bat right there. This game is very prone to despawning things. Fortunately, nothing important usually as far as I've experienced. What exactly determines a despawn? Uh, a despawn? Uh, usually too much on screen. This game lags fairly easily, as you will see in <coughs> Clouds 1. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> for the most part, it's pretty reasonable. I'm taking intentional deaths here so I can jump through enemies. Ah, so, oh, jeez. Didn't want to do one there, though. And now we have to hold our breath a little bit. Don't actually hold your breath, by the way. There's like 20 more seconds until the end of the level. I don't want you to pass out. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> There we go. Good. Good. Uh, it's okay. okay. It was RNG manipulation. Exactly. I'm going to use an audio cue right here. Nice. Neat. <laughs> and so every world actually refills your um, lives. So you start every level with three extra lives, which is pretty nice. 
Yeah, and it goes back up to three if you're below below three. There's actually a code you can enter on the uh, title screen to get ten lives at, at the start. But, That's uh, right. We don't use that. It's it's banned for uh, these runs. And thank you for reminding me. That I actually want to. Um, I want you to make sure that I enter the password screen for a moment, and literally only a moment <laughs> at the end of this run because it is. Um, oh, it's. Oof. It exists. <laughs> it's a thing. It All right, so Snow 2 is a little bit more tricky. Not so much the beginning. These beginning jumps aren't too bad, but the, the end of it uh, will have some very tight platforming. Yeah, it gets progressively worse. Now, as, as nice as it is to get um, plenty of hydration, it's also nice to get plenty of sleep, and so that's <laughs> what we do in the middle of a speed run. <laughs> and now it's going to be night for the rest of the um, snow world. You're supposed to turn it back into daytime in Snow 3, but we actually end the level before that happens. Ooh. Got oh. that. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Oh. I didn't quite get that, but that's okay. We can damage boost through him now. Yay. That's some good shots, though. Using invincibility frames are the best. I'm going to use this to let him go by, and that was a pretty good snow, too. All right. All not bad. Considered. Not bad. Clap up for that. That was not, that was not bad. That, that gets very, very tricky to, to navigate. Indeed. All right, so um, Cards here likes to call this level Snow Free. Oh, yeah. This is this is one of the two free levels you will uh, find in the 80% run. Yeah, it's a nice little break. This is one of the levels where the challenge comes from trying to collect all fruits without touching the waterfalls. There are plenty of waterfalls to end the level all over the place, but there are also a lot of fruits very close to waterfalls. Mm -hmm. And if you touch a waterfall, you instantly you know, finish the level and you have to start the world over again if you want to collect all fruits. Yeah, there's, there's, I believe there are two fruits in each level one and two of each world, and three in each level three. So there are 42 fruits in the game, and if you collect them all, when, when you finish the final level, you actually get to uh, access a special shmup level, where Ooh. Rhino's literally flowing around in space and shooting things. It's, yeah, it's pretty I mean, great. Go ahead and look it up on YouTube. I highly encourage you to do that. It's worth it. <laughs> and uh, so this is actually the title screen music with an extra music layer added on top of it. And so if you do the math, since every um, every track in this game, except for the title screen, has three instruments, the title screen actually uses only two instruments, which is an amazing feat. And I just want to shout out your own tell one more time for that. He's an incredible... He, he makes this chip sing. This is mm -hmm. probably the best way to describe it. We're going left again. Yes. Let's go left. <laughs> yeah. Be left. Oh. Let's go Zoolander strats. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm going to be jumping at very odd... Oh, man. You have to short hop there. There we go. <laughs> I, will, I will be jumping at very odd times on these slopes. Actually, I should probably go down here and get the extra life. And uh, that's because when you're going up on the ground, sometimes the ground catches you and keeps you from jumping. So that's just to make sure that I jump on a flat portion of land and the game doesn't decide I stay on the ground instead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stomp that guy instead. Well, that's one thing I haven't explained yet is stomping. So I believe stomping deals one damage per frame. And you have to make sure you're holding down on the D-pad in order to execute a stomp. Yeah, and you gotta be holding it the entire, entire way through uh, an enemy hitbox or you will take a hit. Exactly. <sighs> All right, get some resident sleepers out in chat. Oh boy, we, we it just, is time for clouds one. Yeah, we just got through the shortest level in the run with city three. Now uh, here's the longest. <laughs> it's a stark contrast to be sure. So you might notice that there is a lot of lag. Oh, it the tends, balloons! It tends to happen often when uh, Rhino is riding a vehicle, and combine that with the fact that. There are tons of sprites, not only just enemies, but just general background elements in this level that um, tend to really screw with you. The cloud looks like a sleepy cat. Yeah, I'll point out. There it is. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> it's pretty great. Sleepy kitty. But uh, the reason I'm pausing here is because of the lag frames. It's actually about... Um, what did you calculate, cards? About 17 frames faster it's, per yeah um, it, on average. It, it, there's just so much. There's just so much lag. It's just general not in general not worth it to just shoot anything or stomp anything. Just just take it. This is effectively an auto scroller. Yeah. So there's going to be a couple more. You can just go right by this enemy, but I prefer to shoot it for safety because it does take a very long time for Rhino to fall all the way down the screen if you do get hit during this part. So now we're actually gonna, okay, we're gonna 
get scared by a plane and fall down to a pit instead of doing proper cloud strats. Yeah, you saw you saw in that death that the camera has to pan to your last location when you when you die. It's it's basically your last location on stable ground for like uh, more than one frame. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's the perfect example of why you do not want to die in clouds if you uh, can help it. One more pyramid jumped there. There and we go. Nice. Nice and okay. slow. Okay. Nice and slow. Now I I cannot decide if okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and die here to get back my lives. Look how far back it takes me. <laughs> That's terrible. I have to be careful not to accidentally enter city here because it snaps you back to city if you're in clouds. And if you re-enter a, a world that you completed already, you have to redo the entire world. Mm -hmm. oh, do not do that. <laughs> Fortunately, we have passwords to uh, get back that, that lost progress if we, if we need them. But uh, This is true. Hopefully we don't. I did take the confidence of not writing down any of the passwords, so let's see. All right, I forgot that I need to stomp on that guy. That's the inefficient way to take care of it. But yeah, this is um, definitely the most challenging world, in my opinion. Yeah. I had something else I was going to mention, but I do not recall it. Oh yeah, um, Cards actually has a, uh, a bit of a strap for me to try out. Since this mm -hmm. is not going to PB, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some early level ending in the next uh, in the next uh, level. Yeah, the, yeah. This level has a has a, an unintended exit that uh, one of the tasters mug actually found a, a few years back, and I started using it in my runs when I uh, picked up this game again. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, po point you to uh, the spot where it is, and uh, you can try go for it. Sounds great. Right also, Be sure to stop me before oh, well. Okay, we're <laughs> no, down to fine. one life. Oh boy. <laughs> Be sure to stop me before I actually get there, by the no, way. You're, 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 they're a little close, but... Okay. All right, it's past this cloud, past this cloud, cloud. Past. They are now on that platform. Now stop, turn right, walk off, and hold hold a jump. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. Oh, you just went a little, little too late, but... Yeah, uh, I think I bonked there. Yeah, yeah, you did. But, uh, yeah, the, the actual exit to the level is like 10 seconds further that way. So uh, it is definitely a, a worthwhile time save yep. trying to go for the record. And sometimes lightning bolts spawn in an unfortunate location that you don't pre-plan uh, pre for. Yes, that's words. That is plan <laughs> and prepare. English is hard. Indeed. So we're going to try that one more time. This is actually very nice because it skips a uh, one more section full of a bunch of tight jumps. All right. All right, so once it gets below the cloud, just walk off and hold jump. Okay. Now. Oh, a little late. Ah. Ooh. All right, we have one more shot of this, and... And, yeah. 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 and time. time. Nice. There we go. <laughs> I'm a bit happy right now. That's the first time you've done that, that in a run, haven't you, winner? In my life. Yes, <laughs> I've never done that before. Live strats right here on SGDQ. Let's get some donations in for that, you guys. Yay. Also, ironically, the um, the credits is the only place where you don't actually hear any of your own tells um, soothing symphonies. However, we do get to find out about the bonus level right here, the Rhino Rumble Space Shooter, if you collect all the fruit. If you want to be the first person to collect all 42 fruits and submit that as a run to the leaderboards, you will have a free world record as of <laughs> this um, current time. Easy. <laughs> free points on the yeah. speedrun leaderboards. I don't know. <laughs> so if you want to hit me up, hit up Cards of the Heart for that, then uh, we can help you learn that run. And we look forward to seeing a lot more activity in this community. Um, mm -hmm. I have been Winterbit. Shout out once again to Cards, Shasta, Yoshizilla, everyone else in the back couch right here. <laughs> everyone in the audience, everyone in chat. <laughs> Thank you all for being here, tuning in on this bright and early Thursday morning, Wednesday night, depending on where you are in the U.S. Could be um, Thursday morning, could be Thursday afternoon, depending on your location in the world. And I hope you uh, keep donating, keep watching, spread the word. Thank you all for being here. And once again, I've been Winterbit. And stay tuned for more wonderful speedruns right here at SGDQ. Take care. What
an amazing run of Rhino Rumble from Winter Bit. That might possibly be the cutest game I've ever seen in my life. Um, we did have a few donations come in during the run, but it was so intense we couldn't get to them. So I'm going to go ahead and read some of those now for you. We had $25 from Bajarella. Hey, Winner, I couldn't catch most of SGDQ this year due to work, but I made sure to stay up too late to catch your runs. Say it with me now. This game has a great soundtrack, and it applies no matter what. $10 from Clark Streams. Hey, winner. Super excited to see you on the GDQ stage. Hope the runs go well and hope you have just as much fun running as we do watching. $5 from TP Speed. Hey, winner. Your run was rad and you're doing great. But man, all these tunes are making me feel loony. Let's see that Mario 3 race. While we're setting up for the next run, I'm going to run a quick Twitch ad, and we will be right back. Welcome back to SGDQ 2019, powered by Twitch, benefiting Doctors Without Borders. While we are getting ready to set up for Silo Simon's run of Jumper Griffin Story, I'll read a few donations for you. We have $490 from Shed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shed. Fulfilling my promise to Bob uh, Epic Cat to donate $1 per death. Oops, I added a zero. <laughs> Thank you so much. $10 from Patrick Smith. Dear Night Shift, you rock. $5 from Brittany Lopez. Is that a squishmallow on the couch? I've been snuggling my Philippe the Frog this entire GDQ. $25 from Space Cow. Donating $25 for that rhino scarf. $50 from Emily, got paid this week, and I'm happy to help a great cause through an event that brings my partner and I so much delight. Shout out to Counselor Drinks for the sick alias. Crowd's getting rowdy. $25 from Scraggy Bomb. Watch out, Rhino. Wow, really enjoying this winter bit block. Another $15 from TP Speed. I didn't check the schedule and didn't realize Winner had another run, so take more of my money. Shoutouts to Shasta and Winner, two great friends I'm glad to have made. Love you both. Shas love. Rhino, I'm rumbling to watch that Mario 3 race. Aren't you, audience?
$15 from LPG83. Hey winner, LPG here. While the frog may be your spirit animal, I have no doubts we're in for an awesome Rhino Rumble run. Oh, and Frogger W. $200 from NanoHertz. How do you stop a rhino from charging? <laughs> do not give them a credit card unless they are donating. Go for gold, winner bit. Oh, so many donations coming through for winner bit. Thank you so much. Those were two incredible runs. $5 from Taji, first time watcher, second time donator, hoping to get the male Fire Emblem Fates avatar incentive going. Hype? And right now the Fire Emblem Fates male or female avatar is currently female in the lead with $1,398, with male at $74, so get those donations in. We have $50 from Anonymous. Yo, I want to make a shout out to my boy T-Law, who's somewhere over at GDQ right now. We'll always have Paris, my dog. $30 from Ragnarok Rose. Shout out to the person with the white floppy hat in the audience. Hats off to you, except please keep it on. It's really good. I'm not sure if that person is still in the audience, but if you're here, stand up, please.